I've done a certain amount of theoretical research on the topic of corporate social responsibility. I've been teaching business ethics and corporate social responsibility now for a number of years. And I really felt that for students learning about corporate social responsibility, they needed a book that really set out the debate. There are two basic approaches to corporate social responsibility. On the one hand, you have Milton Friedman, the prize-winning Nobel economist, who basically says that a, a firm's obligation should be to maximize profit while obeying the law with some ethical obligations like avoid deception and fraud. On the other hand, another approach is that of the body shop. And the idea is that companies should have additional ethical and maybe even philanthropic or charitable obligations. So the book really sets out the debate for students to decide which approach makes the most sense for them. The new book is called Corporate Social Responsibility, An Ethical Approach. And it's a book that focuses on corporate social responsibility, but in a way that I think is somewhat unique. So I have a chapter that really tries in general terms to outline what are the major moral principles, values, and standards for students or managers to apply in a business decision. As well, the book has my own personal frameworks. So I have what I call the three domain model, looking at economics, legal, and ethical obligations as a Venn diagram. And I also provide what I call the VBA framework. In other words, companies need to engage in making goods and services that produce value to society. They do so in a balanced manner, as well as remaining accountable to their stakeholders. A lot of people only engage in corporate social responsibility because they believe it actually improves the bottom line. Guess what? It's not always the case. I think it's okay to make money. I think the real question is prioritization. Corporate social responsibility is not just about fulfilling your economic and legal obligations, and it's even not just about fulfilling your philanthropic obligations. It's the ethical approach that's most important. Going beyond the law, acting in a trustworthy manner, responsible, caring, being a good corporate citizen, respecting others, fairness, all of those are very, very important in terms of fulfilling one's ethical obligation and those manufacturers who are involved in industries where there's the potential for catastrophic risk, I clearly believe that they have an additional ethical obligation in terms of really meeting the strictest safety standards possible. And they have to meet it before they can even engage in their activity. I think that clearly there's a need for greater awareness by business students, managers, executives, members of boards, in terms of what their ethical obligations are. And it's not just simply maximizing the bottom line, abiding by the law. Business students, when they end up actually being managers, executives, CEOs of their companies, they're going to be making important decisions with respect to various stakeholder groups in terms of their employees and their customers and their suppliers, even their competitors, the communities, the natural environment. And it's very important for them to have a theoretical position on this debate, which will help guide them I hope personally leading to more ethical and, so, and thereby socially responsible decisions.